My name is Isaac Cullinan from St. Paul, Minnesota. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube, channel TJV. And he's with his co-pilot, Diesel the Weasel. Good morning everybody, we're here in Toma, Wisconsin at the Quick Trip, right where we went to sleep. The sun has come back to visit us, and we're in a hurry today. We're going home today. So avoiding the toll road yesterday, coming out of Chicago, was not worth it. Just so you know, I was your guinea pig once again, didn't work. It took a lot longer, lost a few hours, or a couple of hours at least. And uh, it was about 15 miles further, but all the stopping and starting in all the little towns and everything burnt way more fuel than I would have just staying on the tollway and paying the tolls. So it wasn't worth it, won't do that again, but it was nice to take the scenic route yesterday. It was a little change of scenery. I like that every now and then, otherwise everything just gets boring, you know. So I don't regret it for that reason, but. Just so you know, you can't save money. Just take the toll road. Unless if you want to go further south and go down to Rochelle and then in. But then you still got to pay tolls on the I-88. Or if you go all the way down to I-80, I guess you can save the tolls. But that's 30 to 40 miles further. So it depends how much fuel your truck burns. It may not be worth it. But. Yeah, well, my experiment failed yesterday. So we'll try another one next time, maybe. Well, it's that time of day again. At 600 meters, turn left on CR 45. No, Karen. It's not that time of day. Time to fill up on some go-go juice. Sitting at just below a quarter tank, so it's time to fuel her up. I gotta fuel her up before we go back to Canada. They like to tax me a little more up there. I don't like that. So I fuel down here. Interesting how that works, right? So this is Alexandria, Minnesota. Check our load while we're here. Go in, grab another coffee. Let the weasel out, do his weasel business. Whatever it is that weasels do for business. Got ourselves some fuel, some DEF, and uh, we're about six hours from uh, our yard, our destination for today. I'll be home pretty late tonight, but I'll be home tonight. So it's hard to tell if this bug deflector is actually working that well. I mean, bugs are still hitting my windshield, but I don't know if it's less than what would have been hitting my windshield without it. I mean, maybe it's more for cosmetic looks than for functionality, you know? Maybe it's, it looks nice, but I kind of thought it would be bigger when I bought it. You know, I thought it would stick up a little further, be a little more functional, but apparently it's just supposed to be shiny and look nice because I'm still getting bugs on my window. But like I said, it's hard to know if it's more or less than what would have been there. Because you know what it's supposed to do, it's just supposed to sort of deflect this uh, jet stream of air as my truck moves through the air, it's supposed to like push the air upwards and then when the bugs fly towards my truck, that jet stream of air is supposed to catch the bugs and push them up over my truck or over my windshield. So maybe it's working pretty good. I don't know. I'm still seeing a few bugs on here. Kind of wish it was a little bigger, but whatever. It's better than it was. 
We're about uh, probably 10 miles from the U.S.-Canadian border here, heading up towards Canada on Interstate 29. Uh, we're going to be crossing from North Dakota into Manitoba. Just got to drop this trailer off in a nice secure yard. And then I'm going home. And we'll del deliver this into Winnipeg Monday morning. I've got another load of lumber. I think I was telling you about it before already. <coughs> uh, got a load of lumber that I've got a tarp. I've got to pick that up Monday as well from Winnipeg. And head down to uh, Wisconsin with that. Back to Wisconsin. Diesel's favorite state. There's lots of cows. Well, the sun has disappeared. The moon has appeared in its place. We're back in Canada. Oh, what are you doing parked on the shoulder here? Sneaky, sneaky. It's a terrible place to break down. So yeah, we'll be home before you know it, guys. Good morning, folks. We're here in Winnipeg right now. We slept at the Esso Card Lock just across from Ikea in, uh, what is this, on Lowson Crescent, I think. I gotta deliver the steel that I picked up down in Chicago around the corner here and then go pick up that lumber uh, pretty much just down the road from here. So I figured I'd come into town last night and sleep here. That way I'm here first thing in the morning and I don't have to wake up so unreasonably early way at home and then, you know, get to the truck, get it warmed up, hook up to the trailer again or... This worked out better, so I'm just enjoying a wife muffin right now. She made for me, delicious. I'm going to go and deliver this, and I actually got a nice little uh, surprise present from my load gods today. Uh, apparently, uh, they don't want me to deliver this lumber until Thursday, which means I don't have to leave until tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I don't think they meant for it to be a gift, because I don't think they knew, but it turned out to be a gift, because today when I'm filming this is uh, our second wedding anniversary and I was going to be on the road for it so we sort of did a little bit of a celebration last night at home on Sunday and then uh, we were going to go to uh, uh, and celebrate it uh, bigger when I got home right we're going to do something big when I got home uh, instead I got to go home tonight we're still going to do something big later on to celebrate it I'll, I'll share more about it with you later we're pretty excited about it we've never done it before uh, it's an event we want to go to in Winnipeg but uh, for now, I'm just going to deliver the steel here around the corner. And then I'm going to go and pick my lumber up and I'm going to go home. It's going to be great. Don't sleep here very often. I don't sleep in the city of Winnipeg very often at all because when I am in the city, usually I just go home, right? But this worked better for my s schedule. So let's go get this delivered. Let's go pick up the other stuff. Let's go home. Well, we're in here. They're almost done unloading. Just waiting for them to finish now so that I can put my tarps away. My next load, I can't have my tarps in the front here. They're going to want the lumber all the way closer to the front. So I'm going to have to put my tarps on the back. It'll just save me a lot of time later. Just about done. Giving them a hand here, getting this dunnage off so that they don't have to get off the forklift. We got two more pieces on there yet, but I'll unload from the other side. I never actually showed you the load when I loaded it, eh? It's just these steel pipes. I think there's a 21 foot, there's 14 foot, 12 foot. These are the last three bundles on here. Made in Chicago, Illinois. It's being used up here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So there's IKEA for you Winnipeggers. Gives you a little bit of a perspective of where I'm at right now just across Bishop Grandin or whatever this is called Keniston just across Route 90 from Ikea and you know what that means Cabela's is just on the other side of Ikea uh-huh might have to make a little detour what's the time 11 30 well I'll be out of here probably just before noon that means I only got 10 minutes to get to my next customer that means I'd get to them right during the lunch hour and I'd have to wait there till they were done lunch. It'd be so awesome if there was somewhere else I could go to spend my lunch hour close by. 
maybe we'll go to Cabela's. It's uh, 10 to 12, so uh, I'd be arriving at my next customer directly as as the clock strikes 12, just as they go on lunch break. So I'm not going to interrupt their wonderful lunch break because I have Cabela's that can occupy my time for a half hour, maybe. I only need like 20 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. Let's try to be at the customer for 12.30. That way I'm there when they get off lunch. I don't want to... There might be a lineup, you know, I don't want to get in the lineup of people waiting for them to get off lunch. I sort of want to be at the front of that lineup. But Cabela's is just up here off to the right. I got to come in the back here because I'm driving a truck. No trucks in the front. They don't like truckers, I guess. That's okay, because I like them. I don't know why they don't like me. So I come in behind Ikea and all the way down this back lane, and then I park right in here. Right where you can see all the other truckers that have parked. <laughs> Truck parking. See? They do think of us. They just hide us in the back. All right, Diesel, you're going to hang out here, eh? I'm going to go look at some stuff. We got these coyotes around our property. Tons of these little guys around our property. You gotta be careful because they'll lure your dogs out thinking that they're friends. One will come out and then they'll lure your dog into the bush where the whole pack is waiting for them. Mm, those are not good dogs, those are bad boys. Bad dog. I hit one of those with my truck once. Got him right on the rear end. Hit him probably like, just nicked him. Almost $15,000 of damage to my truck. And I think this guy walked away. Here's another coyote. See, they just look like small little dogs. They're not your friend. Oh, there's the beaver. I knew they'd have the beaver somewhere. That's what we got wrecking our property right now. I should show you guys the tree they took down in the last couple of days. Massive tree. They're pretty big. Oh, that was fun. Got myself some beaver relocation products. Should be fun. Let's get out of here. We gotta go pick up our freight. The freight is waiting for us. It's about 12.30 now, so I got 10 minutes to go down the road. I'll be there at about 20 to 1. So they'll still be on lunch. Just hope that there's not a lineup that's been built up. It, this is Winnipeg. It's not as busy as some, you know, American businesses and stuff. It, it's pretty busy. It's, it's a popular place for lumber out here. I, I do believe I'm supposed to go out this way. Yes, there's a truck with a green circle around it. That means this is my road. Right past these residential buildings, eh? Imagine living here right next to Cabela's. That would be so awesome. It's like having a balcony just overlooking the front entrance of Cabela's. That'd be beautiful. So here we are. I believe I'm loading that same lumber that this guy has got on right in front of me. He parked that way. I parked it. Oh, here he comes right now with my load. Off on the left there. See that? Same thing. Very fancy particle board. Let's see if he wants me here. Yep, he's just going to load me up right here. There he goes. Touchdown. Cool. So, 
I'm just gonna quickly tie her down here and tarp it. It shouldn't take longer than an hour or so to get everything done and rocking and a rolling, you know what I'm saying? This is going to Rothschilds, Wisconsin. So Rothschild, Wisconsin is just south of Wausau, Wisconsin, which is that's pretty central Wisconsin. Right in the middle, pretty much. Like right in the middle of the state, almost. Very close. I'd say Stevens Point is a little bit closer to the middle, but that's just south of there, so. Oh, yeah, well, how long is it going to take to get there? Let's see. Starting from here, 1,033 kilometers, about 650 miles. It's one day's drive. So I could technically leave Wednesday morning and be there for Thursday morning if I wanted to be in a bit of a rush. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'm thinking I might do that because they said my reload, probably around the Chicago area, is only going to be ready Friday morning. So technically I could deliver this lumber Thursday midday, make my way down to Chicago, go from there. So yeah, I could stay home all day tomorrow then and sleep at home then I don't have to rush off to work. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. Let's get loaded up and tarp first and then we'll make our big life decisions. Just gotta load her up. These come in very handy on the road uh, with loads. So, like you can see on this load in front of me, right there, that guy's tarping right now. It's very easy to tarp because it's a square block, right? But you gotta be careful because the corners of the square block will chew through your tarps in the wind as you're going down the highway. These are expensive tarps. So what I do is I have pieces of rubber or pieces of rug, just little pieces, right? And I just cover the corner with it and I dunk, 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 just staple it on the corner so it stays there. And then uh, your tarps don't get destroyed. Also, if you're hauling uh, lumber like uh, I don't know, like like that stuff way out there. Or this stuff here. Well, you know. It's wrapped, and you don't have to tarp it. But sometimes going down the highway, that wrap sort of lets go, and then it's all flapping around in the wind like a dying chicken. Uh, that, uh, that needs to be stapled down as well so you don't look ridiculous. These come in handy for that too. You just go back there, you staple it back on, and then you don't look crazy going down the highway with a crazy flailing dead chicken behind you. I think he's almost done. He's got one, two, three, four. One or two more trips. He's just a given her. Look at him go. Look at him go. These guys are really fast here. They know what they're doing. Like, and they, they're organized. I really like this shipper. I, I showed up at the shipper's window and before I even got to his desk, he had the paperwork ready. He had the loader, the guy who's going to load my truck. He had sent him a message saying that I was here, said what to load me with. All I did is I walked in there and I said, hey, how's it going? He says, good. All right, just go around back. We'll get you loaded. I'm like, well, you, you already know who I am, what I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see your truck out there. I know what you're here for. Yeah, just go around back. We'll load you up. Nice. Organization. Gets things done quick. I love shippers like this, where they know what they're doing. Everybody's like communicating with each other. That's why I'm staying in my truck right now. I'm just staying out of their way. They're not in like a, a reckless hurry. They're just in a hurry. And I don't want to make it reckless by, you know, getting in their way. <laughs> Is that the last one? So how many's he got on there? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lifts on there now. Ten. Oh, he's going. Oh no, he's taking that one off the top. I think it'll be a very exactly the same load as that guy in front of me. What's he got? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. He's got fourteen. So he's still got to bring another four. <coughs> oh yeah, he's going back. Going back for another one. There he goes. Give her, bud. You got this. Oh, organization, I tell you what. 
I love it. And the yard is all neat and organized and clean. Like everything is properly in its proper spot and it's stacked straight. It's not all over the place. It doesn't look like trash. It looks like a really nice, well taken care of business. A respectable business. We're out of here. I decided I'm gonna tarp it at our yard instead. It's a beautiful day, so I'm just gonna run it over there. So 15 minutes away, they were okay with that. I wanna run this thing over the scale first because the way they loaded it, you know, to me, it kinda looks like my rear end is gonna be a little heavy. So we might need to adjust it a little bit at our yard. Good. I'll run it over the scale and if it is all good, well then I'll just quickly tarp it, wrap it up and then go home. This way I'm not plugging up their yard either. They got lots of trucks to load. That guy, that other guy's right in front of me there. He got his all tarp, but his looks good. Like looking at his truck, I can tell, like, you know, he's not overweight, but my freight is set so far back. It's almost like right over the rear axles and there's nothing over my drives. So I don't know, we'll, we'll we have a scale at our yard. They don't have a scale here. That's why, that's why I told, I just told him, hey, you mind if I just tarp it at our yard? Nope. This guy did a good job, that looks very neat. Everybody just got new toys. New Frankie? How do, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think of your new raccoon? Oh, yeah, tell us how you really feel. Come on. Tell us how you really feel. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Oh, oh, found that one. Which one are you gonna take, Wiener? Which one's yours? Wiener, yeah, we'll get him! Get him! <laughs> Diesel's got one. And Chevy's got one. Hey, 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 don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Oh, you already? Shoot a hole in it. They shoot the tie, uh, tag off. Don't shoot on it, buddy. Squeak it. Squeak it. Squeak it. Get him. Get him. Oh, no, no. 